Witches always go to bed at midnight. Winnie turned off the lights and went upstairs. She brushed her teeth. <sharp inhale> Washed her face. <sharp inhale> Put on her nightie and climbed into bed. Ah, <sighs> so happy! In two minutes, she was snoring. <sighs> Robo, her big black cat, was already asleep. He was curled up in his basket, dreaming. <sighs> Two minutes later, Robo woke up. He could hear a funny noises in the garden. <coughs> He crept to the cat flap and peeped out. There was something on the doormat. Something with big green eyes. Meow! <coughs> cried Robo. And he jumped back. A long nose poked through the cat flap. <coughs> Then there was a puff of smoke. The cat flap wobbled and shook. A spiky body, then a long tail, followed the nose. There was a baby dragon in Winnie's house. Meow! <coughs> cried Wilbur. He turned three backward somersaults and ran into the hall. The baby dragon thought this was fun. He ran after Wilbur. Swish, swish, went his tail. Winnie's grandfather clock wobbled and shook. Ding dong, boring. Cried Wilbur, and he raced upstairs. The baby dragon ran after him. Swish, swish, went his tail. Winnie's suit of armor wobbled and shook, and rolled down the stairs. Crash, bang, clang! Meow! Cried Wilbur outside Winnie's door. Winnie woke up. <sighs> and jumped out of bed. Oh, what ever is that? She said. Then she saw a puff of smoke coming from behind her broomstick. Oh no! Said Winnie. My broomstick is on fire. Winnie grabbed her broomstick. Oh, goodness gracious me," said Winnie. "It's a baby dragon. He could burn my house down. We'll have to find his mother, Robo. Where's your mother, little dragon?" Winnie asked. <laughs> Cried the baby dragon. A cloud of smoke came out of his nose. Puff. Puff. Then Winnie had an idea. She waved her magic wand three times, one, two, three, and shouted, "Abra kadabra!" Puff went the baby dragon, and out of his nose came a cloud of butterflies. Puff. Puff, puff. Went the baby dragon, who was very surprised. 
There were butterflies everywhere. Ooh ooh ooh, lovely! Rubba loved chasing ooh, butterflies. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Be careful, Rubba! The baby dragon loved chasing anything. Ooh ooh ooh! Ah! Smash! Went Winnie's best ball. Ooh ooh, your naughty dragon! Splash! Went the vase of flowers. Crash! Went the table. That wasn't such a good idea, said Winnie. She waved her magic wand again and shouted, "Abracadabra!" Out of the dragon's nose came nothing. Good, said Winnie. Hey. Now let's get some sleep. But the baby dragon didn't want to sleep. He wanted to play. Hmm, bother," said Winnie. "We'd better find your mother right now." She got a flashlight and went out onto the roof. "Yoo-hoo!" she called. "Hmm." It was quiet and dark on the roof. Yoo-hoo! Winnie called again and waved her flashlight. No, no, no! I can't see anything. <whistles> Suddenly, there was a flash of fire. No, no! Rippo, be quiet! <whistles> and sound of great wings. The baby dragon jumped up and down. Mama, mama, mama! He called. Yo ho ho! Called Winnie. But the baby dragon's mother didn't see them. Ow, <laughs> dear! Then Winnie had a wonderful idea. Aha! She grabbed her wand, waved it six times. One, two, three, four, five, six! Shouted, "Abracadabra!" And there, above her house, was an enormous moon. Hmm, lovely, great, wonderful! The mother dragon came flying back. She swooped down and scooped up her baby. Mm. Oh, oh, oh. Wait a minute! Called Winnie. She waved her magic wand and shouted, "Abracadabra!" Puff! <sighs> Went the baby dragon, and smoke came out of his nose again. The two dragons flew high into the sky and disappeared. Bye bye. Meow meow. Winnie waved her wand, shouted, "Abracadabra!" And the enormous moon went out. Now let's go back to bed, Ripple," she said. Winnie climbed into bed and shut her eyes. In half a minute, she was snoring. <coughs> Wilbur was already asleep in his basket. Just then, the sun rose. The night was over. But Winnie the witch and Rubba were fast asleep. Do you like the little dragon? Why? I'm Kara. Thank you. See you next time. Bye bye. <laughs>